Hello, my name is Miles Okazaki, and this is a video for a book that I wrote called Fundamentals of Guitar. So, on page 22, there's a section called The Case For and Against Patterns. Uh, it's a subject I guess I'm of two minds about. On one, on one hand, I don't like practicing patterns that much because they're kind of tedious and, and mechanical. Um, and I don't like the sound that much of patterns and improvisations and things like that because it can be kind of predictable. Um, but on the other hand, I do actually practice a lot of patterns, uh, in my daily routine or whatever, because, uh, it, it's a good way to physically deal with the instrument, get all the stuff hardwired in there, stuff that you need to use, right? Um, just how to get around and how to, how to, how to, um, have like things that are at your disposal to use rather than trying to reinvent the wheel, you know, you have all these physical movements kind of burned into your, into your muscles. So, so the question for me that I was trying to explore in this section was what is the, what is a way to get sort of maximum results out of a minimum of material? Like how, what are the fewest number of pa patterns I could practice to get all the physical movements that I feel like I need, you know? So, um, Basically, if you were, let's say you were just in any particular place on the guitar, um, you just take, take a note and go to all the other notes, right? And so on and so on. Um, now, this is, that's, that would be a really tedious thing to do, and, and the, the application there is not very clear. Um, but... You know, if you wanted to just power through it, you could say, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just figuring out how to get from every note to every other note, because that would be all the movements that I could possibly need, right? Um, so I guess the question I'd be asking would be like, well, when you're going from one note to another note, what are you doing, really? What are you talking about? You're talking about, you're talking about intervals, right? Because the distance between any two notes is, is some kind of interval. So um, what would be maybe a more practical way to practice intervals. And for me, um, uh, what I like to practice intervals with is just the major scale, because the major scale contains all the intervals. It has uh, two semitones, it has five whole tones, it has four minor thirds, three major thirds, it has, uh, let's see, what, fourths, it has, um, it has six fourths, and it has one tritone, it has six fifths, it has three minor six, it has four major six, and it has uh, five minor sevenths, and it has two major sevenths, right? <laughs> you, can, you can check that by just going through the scale and, and finding them. But basically, what the implication of that is, if you were to practice major scales and all the intervals of the major scale, diatonic intervals, um, you're going to get to all possible intervals. Um, and in a context of something that is... Uh, very useful, you know, diatonic scales are very useful in all kinds of situations. So, um, okay, so that being said, let me say, okay, now I'm going to practice my diatonic scales, I'm going to go through all the intervals of all the diatonic scales. Well, this is again, like, uh, I'm trying to think, is there a way to cut down what this is, so, or to sort of break it down into physical movements, not theoretical movements, but, like, if you wrote stuff out on a page, does it look different, but physically does it feel different? So, like, for example, let's say I'm I'm playing a G major scale in, ma in thirds. Right? And down here in second position, right? Now, those thirds are like ascending thirds, right? The thirds are going up, and the scale is going up, right? So they're like ascending thirds ascending, or, or you know, thirds going up ascending, something like that. I could call it one, in the book I call these, I call this one three. One three, one three, one three, they're all one three, because that's kind of the shape of the thing. Now, uh, um, if I were to take, say, um, fourths, it's a different physical feeling, right? Those are fourths ascending. Now, people also practice descending intervals, like thirds descending. Thirds descending and fourths ascending are the same physical movement. Like if you look at it, or the 
first one I'm playing third is descending, and the second one I'm playing fourth is ascending. It just, I'm just starting, you know, it just sounds like I'm starting on a different pitch or something like that. But physically, it's the same thing. So really, you can eliminate like half of these intervals because they're physically redundant, right? So um, basically, in, the, in this book, I just list like 12 movements for diatonic stuff. There's, and so I take away all the descending stuff. So it's only ascending. Ascending going up and descending coming down. Right? That type of thing. Because all the ones of, uh, like, uh, ascending, uh, descending thirds moving up through the scale is the same as, as ascending fourths moving up through the scale. So... So you only get 12 things. You get thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, um, sevenths, and octaves, right? Ascending and descending, right? And that gives you, like, pretty much all the movements within an octave that you could do, you know, in, uh, in any kind of position or something like that. So I'll give you an example of, of uh, how I might just do a little warm-up, morning warm-up or something. Pick a key. Pick a position. So I'm going to say fifth position, F major. So, okay, first start off with getting the skeletal um, tonality from the pentatonic scale. In some other videos, I talk about how I kind of use pentatonics as the as the guide for everything on the guitar. So wherever I am, whatever wherever I am, I'm going to sort of start with that pentatonic thing to get a, a, a sort of foundation of where I'm at. Okay, I might play that for a little while, maybe improvise on that. seventh of the scale to get the diatonic scale in that position, F major. Now in this, in this position I'm starting on, the, on an A, this A, but I'm still just thinking of F major. So I might do this, you know, make sure all the pitches are clear and everything, and then try and speed it up. start getting kind of, starts getting sloppy and then I'll bring it back down. Right, anyway, keep doing that for a while and then, okay, now I got a good feeling for that scale in that position, you know, the diatonic notes in that position of that key, right? Okay, intervals. ascending and thirds descending. I'm going to get the feeling of thirds. That's all I'm trying to get. It's just kind of the feeling of thirds. So the feeling of thirds is this. Or this. Right? I could loop it. Now if I loop it and I, and I do a uh, loop like up and down and up and down and I repeat the bottom and top note this this scale this pattern will have 60 notes so I could I could put accents on it like for example uh, in fours right or I could do fives stuff so you could you could think about it that way um, just putting accents and, and different groupings helps to um, 
helps to make sure that you have it physically really ingrained because then you have to start messing with it and you can't really think about where you're physically doing it anymore if you have to start thinking about some rhythms, right? Um, so fourths, you know. Again, just get them all clear and however slow I have to go. Here I'm playing them. Fourths are a particular problem on the guitar because you don't, you know, in order to not get this sound. playing a lot of barred stuff so in order to not get you know notes that are ringing while the other note I might try to separate them I do that on fourth to make sure that I actually get separate pitches These they're gonna be four notes smaller each time. So you can put fours on it. You can put sevens actually. Accenting every seventh note in the thing. All right, so fifths in this position are going to be. So these are slightly they're getting into some wider intervals. So I might spend a while trying to really burn these in by making sure they're clear. up so so then you know bring it down a little bit from there and keep working on it like that you know you can keep track of the metronome if you want where that point is for any particular thing um so uh six sixths that's a hard word to say right pattern so you could put again you could put like fours or sixes or whatever <laughs> sixes but I was putting accent on like the the fourth fourth sixth the fourth sex tuplet or whatever like that kind of thing uh, okay seventh So you could you could put four on there or elevens or I mean obviously you could do anything you want you could do fives you know but and then it's just gonna take longer to come around and all that octaves you don't want to be like um, 
especially this type of picking where you're dealing with more string skips and stuff or the left hand you don't want to be really looking at either hand <laughs> do that you know 10 minutes or something like that I have a pretty good feeling for um, that mode you know that that key in that position you know and then there's five main positions you're gonna be dealing with physical positions so I might um, you know on another day pick uh, maybe I'll stay in fifth position but I'll do D flat major or something you know and then that would lead me to a different set of physical movements but all those all together, you know, go through all the keys eventually and kind of uh, uh, get quite a lot of, of intervallic stuff just hardwired into the fingers um, in the context of the diatonic scales. So uh, that's the idea. There's on page 22 uh, and, and 23, there's a, a listing of just what I, I did just now. And then um, after that, there's uh, a listing of all the possible three notes movements and there's quite a bit quite a few of those um but uh you know that's uh, the next step of that thing if, if you're interested in going there uh, but this is this is quite a good little workout just to warm up on and uh and get you ready for more creative things you know when all those tools are in place all right thanks